The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Next, uh, we would like to give the floor to civil party lawyer to put further questions to the expert. The chamber notes that uh, notes the observation by the defense counsel and that uh, Mr. Alain Werner already stated that he would not uh, take much time of the court to put a lot of questions, but for the whole morning already he had uh, used uh, the session to uh, put a uh, lot of questions. So the chamber would like to remind uh, Mr. Alain Wegner to please ask the questions that are straight to the point, and could you please be briefed as, uh, as much as possible and uh, I think uh, you are now given 10 minutes to put uh, the rest of your questions to the expert. Thank you, Mr. President. That is clear. Um, Mr. Chetson, um, my first question would be the Ma première question est la suivante. Accused in front of the investigating judge on the um, on the 5th of September 2007, page 6, um, the quote is D16. He said this. The question was, how did you know about this affair? Because before 15 August 1977, you only worked with Sun Sen. And the answer was Sun Sen liked to talk with me about the speeches or talks of other members of the standing committee. Now, bearing in mind what you said on Tuesday, the 19th of May, transcript, draft transcript, page 52, about the extreme, quite extreme policy on secrecy in the state of DK. Would it, be, would it be correct to say that the fact that the accused had access to some of this information through Sonsen gave him privileged access to, the, to this extreme secrecy? Would you accept that proposition? Council? Monsieur Hitchison. I don't know if I would phrase it in exactly the way that you have. However, I would also say that the accused person had direct personal access to some of the most senior leaders in the revolution, and therefore it is reasonable to conclude he also had access to a significant amount of highly confidential information. Thank you. Um, talking about the people in charge of the security centers outside uh, Phnom Penh in the countryside, let's say, um, is it correct that is it correct to say that um, most, if not all, the directors of these security officers who were in function in 1975, um, by, the, by, the, by January 1979, most, if not all of them, would have been purged? Is that, is that correct? Yes, Council. Certainly many, probably most. 
Uh, and si is, is the same applies to um, the, the personnel, the security guards in um, security offices in the countryside? Council, that seemed to have varied on a case-by-case -case basis. In some places, when there was a purge of a security office leadership, all of the personnel were purged. In other instances, there were repeated purges of the top leadership of a security office, and yet some staffers survived to this day. My last question to you, um, Sir Chetson, um, bearing in mind what you just said about the fact that most, if not all, the, the people in charge of um, security offices were purged, um, bearing in mind what you said about the other day, and I can give you the reference if you need, the shocking proportion of S21 staff who itself was purged, bearing in mind everything you said about this widespread um, purges within DK, what is your view? Why was the accused himself not purged? In my opinion, the accused himself was not purged because his superiors considered him effective and loyal. I have no further questions. I'm very grateful for your answers and your time. Thank you. Thank you. Question number one. The Chamber would like to Nous give the floor to the Defence Council le Conseil de la Défense to be able to put questions poser des questions to Mr. Craig Atchison if they would wish to do so. Si tel est le so, Je vous en prie. Mr. Castlewood, thank you, Mr. Maître President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. We would like Mr. Craigerson to also confirm the report on the statement in paragraph 24 of your statement. You said that the standing committee plays the role as the central committee I would like to repeat the standing committee again acting in the name of the central committee had the power to authorize lower level organs of the state party apparatus to carry out extrajudicial executions as seen in the decisions of the 30th of March 1976 I would like to know whether as in your statement on the 18th of May 2009 at uh, 4.15, you said you, uh, that there has been a agreement between the accused because the accused said that uh, the most responsible peoples in the CPK were, the, uh, were comprised of four groups and uh, those four groups uh, could make the decision whether to let anyone die or live because the standing committee uh, authorized them to smash people and you also agree uh, with the statement and uh, the paragraph that I just cited, uh, was it the paragraph that you had confirmed? Could you please uh, uh, reconfirm? Thank you, Council. However, please forgive me. Uh, I am not sure I understand your question. L'objet de votre question.
L'accusé a répondu Before you were asked by the judge, avant que le juge and you responded that you agreed with the accused. And what I want to ask, were they the paragraphs that I just read out was the one that you based in your agreement with the accused? Thank you, counsel. Monsieur Chesson, je vous remercie, maître. Could I please ask you to be a bit more specific on what it was the judges asked me and what it was I agreed with the accused person about? Demander mon opinion sur ce sur quoi nous avons nous sommes arrivés à un accord. Mr. Kassabout. Mr. Kassabout. At 16 hours 15 minutes and 54 seconds. Et 54 secondes. You were asked by a judge and you replied that. I agreed to the statement that is the statement of the accused which states that those who were most responsible for the crimes fall into the four categories that I just said and you agreed with the statement of the accused. And what I want to know is whether you relied on the paragraphs that I just read out in, your, in reaching your agreement to the statement of the accused. Because in that paragraph, you cited the decision of the Standing Committee dated 30 of March 76. Can you confirm that? Thank you, Council. I can confirm, indeed, that I have relied a great deal in my testimony on the 30 March 1976 document decisions of the Standing Committee. In your question, you ask if I agree that these four categories mentioned by the accused person constitute those most responsible. I would have to answer that for me, the term most responsible has a very complex technical meaning, which I do not believe is properly applicable in this situation. Mr. Karsabut, thank you. Maître Karsabut, je vous remercie. You cannot explain to me, but on that day, you said you agreed to the statement of the accused. So your concept is that you still agreed to the statements of the accused. This is what I want to know. Thank you, counsel. I'm afraid you would have to be more specific about which statements of the accused person you are asking if I agree with. La déclaration de l'accusé sur laquelle porte votre question s'agissant de mon accord. Mr. Karsabout, thank you, doctor. Maître Karsabout, je vous remercie. The statement of the accused is that the accused emphasized the letter dated 30 March 1976 which was a decision of the Standing Committee which gave the authorities to those four groups 
to smash the Cambodian people inside and outside the ranks. The accused relied on that letter in his statement. And in your report, you also relied on this letter. That's why I am asking you whether you agree to the accused statement based on as stated in your paragraph as I just read out. This is my question. Thank you, counsel. That is clear. Merci, maître. I do agree Je suis that the first section of the document decision of the Central Committee describes the Standing Committee delegating authority to certain organs to smash people. I agree with that. Je suis d'accord avec cette affirmation. Mr. Casabot, thank Maître you, Casabot, Doctor. Je vous remercie, Monsieur Hutchison. My second question. Ma deuxième question est la suivante. Based on your research. Sur la base de votre recherche. Have you found which prison is the largest prison during the Democratic Cambodia? Le centre de détention le plus important en taille. Sous le régime du Cambodge démocratique. Thank you, Council. Monsieur Chesson, je vous remercie, Maître. There are Il several ways to measure size. De if one measures size in terms of de the number of staff uh, employed at a security office, I think unquestionably. S21 was the largest. If, on the other hand, one measures the size of a security office by the total number of victims who were persecuted and or murdered there, then it is more difficult to compare because very few security offices have surviving records in such detail as S21. In some cases, you can make an estimate by the number of mass graves in the vicinity and the number of remains recovered from those mass graves. Um, but it is very difficult to make a definitive determination on which security center killed the most people. Mr. Carsewood, thank you, Doctor. Mr. Carsewood, thank you, Mr. Chesson. What I want to know is Ce que je savoir. which security, security office is the largest est, est, à because est le plus based on the discussions it centre, seems to put emphasis that S21 is the largest security office throughout Cambodia. S21 était le plus I grand centre de défense council I would like to inform you that I disagree with that. S21 office although with thousands of staff because this S21 office was divided in three separate locations that is S24, Prisol, and G8 and S21 itself. Particularly, a lot of staff needs to be fed because at S24 in Prisol, 
exemple, puisqu'on devait There were hundreds or even thousands of people ça, who exemple, were there to be educated. So the re-education for those people, for those hundreds of people, then it required guards, workers, in order to supply. Une logistique des so this doesn't mean that actually what is the largest prison in killing people. This is my understanding and just yes, for your information. Also, it is my understanding that the largest prison is to be for the office that killed the most people. That should be the largest prison. And thank you, Doctor. Le centre où le plus de personnes ont été exécutées. C'est ce My que je voulais dire. Question. Ma troisième question est la suivante. In, In your report, dans le graphique figurant euh, que, que vous avez présenté I dans votre analyse, dans l'organigramme que vous avez présenté, les membres the government members of the Democratic Cambodia were numerous. However, when I examined the document dated 30 March 76, at page 6, à la page 6 with the ER number 00003141 at line 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from the bottom, I see that on peut the government members, there were only four of them. Eh bien, il n'y en avait que quatre. Can you clarify this issue? Pouvez-vous m'expliquer pourquoi? On the, on the members of the Democratic Cambodia government, and who are they? Les membres du gouvernement du Cambodge démocratique, et qui étaient ces personnes? Thank you, Council. Monsieur Hutchison, je vous remercie, Maître. This particular document, as you suggest, Comme vous le suggérez, mentions only the top si, four. Ne fait mention que des quatre. They are Pol Pot, uh, who is described as first minister. Pol Pot, qui est décrit comme étant le premier ministre. Van, Camarade Van, which is an alias for Ing Suri, Yann Sari, is described as the deputy prime minister for foreign affairs. Vice premier ministre chargé des affaires étrangères. Comrade Vaughan. Camarade Vaughan which refers to Vaughan Vett, Vett, is described as the Deputy Prime Minister for Economics and Finance, de de et finance and Comrade Q, Camarade Q, which was an alias for Son Sen, alias, is described de Son as Deputy Prime Minister for National Defense. Mr. Karsavut, thank you, Doctor. Maître Karsavut, je vous so, remercie, in the Monsieur Democratic Cambodia regime, the government members comprise only of these four people. Thank you. Que ces quatre personnes. Je vous remercie. My fourth question. Quatrième I would question. like you to clarify the word Ankar. The word Ankar. Does this word refer to the standing committee of the government of the Democratic Cambodia? Which group of the institutions does the word Anka refer to? Thank you, Council. Monsieur Chesson, je vous remercie. That Maître. is a very interesting question. Tout à fait intéressante. The Communist Party of Cambodia Le Parti communiste du Cambodia a adopté l'utilisation, l'usage du terme Khmer for organization. C'est le mot Khmer qui peut être traduit par organisation. By the Vietnamese Communist Party. Suite à ce qu'utilisait le communiste, le Parti communiste vietnamien 
to different people within the Communist Party of Cambodia, this term seems to have been understood in different ways. For some, it referred to the entire organization of the Communist Party of Cambodia. For others, it could be used to refer to any individual member of the Communist Party of Cambodia. For still others, it referred to the top leadership of the Communist Party, perhaps including the Standing Committee and the organs immediately surrounding the stand, Standing Committee, such as Office 870. In other usages, Ankara appears to refer only to Pol Pot, for some time, to Pol Pot and Nguyen Chea. So, it seems there were a variety of meanings to the term Ankar. Mr. Kasabot, thank you, Doctor. So the word Ankar, from what I have heard from you, meant the party's organization, not the government. Is this correct? Thank you. Yes, exact. Yes, Council. That is my understanding. Mr. Kasabot, thank you. My fifth question. At S21, cinquième question. Who were the most responsible for the crimes? Les principaux responsables des crimes. I ask this question because above Deutsch and the person who are the Deutsch, including Sun Sen and Nun Chia, and then Deutsch, the current accused. So the crimes at S21, from your understanding, who was responsible, Son Sen or Luch? Can you confirm this or clarify on this matter? Thank you. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous apporter des éclaircissements sur cette question? Je vous remercie. Thank you, Council. Monsieur Hutchison, je vous remercie, Maître. The terms, the senior leaders, principes. And most responsible are the precise definition of the personal jurisdiction of this tribunal, and thus, not being a lawyer myself, I have to be very careful in how I use those terms. Je dois aborder ces termes avec la plus grande prudence. It is my sense that it is the duty of this chamber to make the determination of who is most responsible for the crimes at twenty-one. But I would certainly agree with you that Nguyen Chea. Je suis d'accord avec vous Son sur ce point, à savoir que Nunchea et l'accusé ont tous été impliqués dans la commission de ces crimes, crimes. et qu'ils ont tous une responsabilité dans ces crimes. The president. The uh, president. Could you just uh, hold on? Uh, there might be some uh, technical issue here. Il se peut qu'il y ait un petit problème technique ici.
Mr. President, the trial chamber observed the questions of the defense to these experts. Seems that first, it's a direct question in order for the expert to provide a precise response, which is not or beyond his expertise. The submissions or the observations or estimations of various materials and evidence from the discussion during our proceedings is the competence and the rights of the parties who can make their own conclusion based on the various information, documents, related materials derived from the discussion and the judgment. The final judgment is the competence of the chamber. So the chamber would like to remind parties regarding this direct to the point questions that require the expert to respond briefly and to the point. And the chamber would like the, the council to avoid such questions. And the chamber also took note of such questions which are not or will not be allowed in the future. And the relevant witness or expert shall not respond to such questions. Le témoin expert n'a pas à répondre à ce genre de questions. And the defense counsel should ask the expert regarding the content of his report, which is general. La teneur de son rapport. And you can make your own final conclusion during the proceeding. Et vous aurez le loisir plus tard de dire quelles sont vos conclusions. So this is also to facilitate our smooth Ceci proceedings. Pour faciliter le bon the defense counsel, you can now continue to défense, put questions to the experts. Vos questions au témoin expert. So, Mr. Karsavut, thank you, Mr. President, Karsavut, merci, for Président. reminding me not to ask direct questions. Et merci de me rappeler quelles doivent être les questions posées Mr. à Mr. Atchison, could you tell Monsieur us or explain to us whether the chairman of S21 si S21 is different from the chairman of other prisons or security offices or were they all the same? Est-ce que ces personnes étaient toutes pareilles? Thank you. Oui, merci. In my opinion, the chairman of S21 sens, le président de S21 was indeed different était from the chairman une personne of other security offices des de sécurité. in several significant respects. Et ce, à plusieurs égards, euh, significatifs. One hein? was that the area of operations served by S21 was nationwide. S'étendait à tout le territoire national. No other security office chairman de sécurité had an area of operations so large. N'avait de zone opérationnelle aussi vaste. A second way in which the chairman of S21 was different from other security office chairmen was the nature of his direct reporting relationship par la nature to upper echelon. Des rapports the chairman of S21 aux reported directly to the very highest 
levels of leadership in the Communist Party of Kampuchea on a daily and often personal basis. I am not aware of any other security officer in Democratic Kampuchea who had this type of reporting relationship avait ce genre de relation et rendait compte de cette manière aux échanges supérieurs. Troisièmement, le chairman of S21 seems to me to be different from the chairman of other security offices because the physical size of his operation was somewhere between 50 times larger and 200 times larger than all other security offices. So for those three reasons, I would say yes, the chairman of S21 was different from the chairman of other security offices. Mr. Kass, I would thank you very much, uh, Dr. Akrajasan. And Mr. President, uh, I Merci have no further questions. Mr. President, I have no further questions. The President, uh, Mr. François Rouge, Roux. would you like to ask a lot of questions to the witness, uh, uh, the expert, expert. correction. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Je you, souhaite Mr. sans President. aucun doute I poser des questions aux témoins experts, mais pas à l'heure de la pause. Witness, but not now during the break. Mais par contre, Monsieur However, le Président, peut-être uh, President, maybe... euh, avant de faire la pause, pourrais-je demander à l'expert de se livrer à un petit travail que je voulais lui demander de faire pour la chambre. Et je pourrais peut-être d'ores et déjà lui poser cette question, cette proposition de travail, afin qu'il puisse le réaliser pendant la pause et nous en rendre compte. À la reprise. Ma, ma question euh, sur ce point précis euh, était relative au, à l'organigramme euh, qui euh, se situe à la pa au paragraphe 133 de votre rapport dont on vient de parler. Et je voudrais, Monsieur l'expert, vous demander de compléter cet organigramme sur la base du paragraphe 115 de votre rapport. Je m'explique au paragraphe 115 de votre rapport. Vous indiquez, selon un rapport émanant de l'état-major, l'armée révolutionnaire comptait en mars 1977 quelques 61 000 hommes. Les effectifs étaient répartis en neuf divisions. Vous citez la 703, la 303, on y voit la 502. And we also see division 502, etc. Donc, 9 divisions, 3 régiments three regiments, indépendants, three independent regiments, le 152, 152, le 488 four, et le 377, et plusieurs bureaux, M63, M63 et M62. Je voudrais donc so vous demander like de bien vouloir you, porter to sur le tableau de la page 133, l'ensemble de ces éléments pour que nous puissions plus clairement que ce n'est le cas actuellement recycler S21. Voilà, Monsieur le Président, petit travail 
This is the little exercise that I would like Mr. Atchison uh, to do uh, for us uh, during this uh, lunch break. And I'm sorry uh, to uh, make this proposal right now uh, during the lunch break. The President, uh, Mr. Craig Atchison, has you followed uh, what uh, the Defense Council has uh, proposed uh, that you are supposed to do some exercises during lunch break? And uh, the Defense would like you to present uh, this after lunch uh, break, uh, and I think it is good that it can help you to be prepared pause. and it can expedite uh, the uh, testimony session. Have you followed pause. À moins, Monsieur l'expert, que vous pouvez nous dire. Judge Laval, unless you can tell us, Mr. Etchison, uh, uh, if you can tell us why you only mentioned S21 in uh, your diagram uh, and why you didn't mention the other divisions uh, and the other uh, offices that uh, you mentioned in your paragraph 115. Yes, Your Honor. Thank uh, you. Oui, Monsieur le juge. I can. Je peux S21 was a special unit. S21 était une unité spéciale. As we discussed yesterday, Comme nous in fact, hier. sometimes it was referred to Parfois, on as référence special branch. À S21 comme le service spécial. Clearly indicating the special nature of this institution. De cette institution. It was not a regular Ce military unit, une unité militaire ordinaire. even though for purposes si of logistics pour des raisons de and organization, et pour des fins organizationnelles, it was considered a component S21 of the general staff. Nonetheless, its functions were quite different étaient très différentes from the other units de celles des of autres the general staff. Unités relevant de major. In so far as it was not a combat unit, unit pas une but unité an intelligence operation, mais une unité de thus renseignement. I felt it was appropriate Et il donc to include it approprié in the chart de of the government dans l'organigramme qui représente le gouvernement in the chart plutôt que dans l'organigramme combat units qui décrit of the les revolutionary combattants army de l'armée révolutionnaire du Kampuchea. That was my reasoning, Your Honor. Voilà la raison de l'organigramme en l'état. Il n'en demeure pas moins François, que la défense souhaiterait que l'expert, qui est la personne like la plus compétente compétent pour réaliser ce travail, veuille bien sur ce même tableau well, nous indiquer où like il positionne uh, les autres unités que je viens de citer. Uh, Vous le ferez mieux que personne. Maintiens ma demande, Monsieur le Président. Je suis par ma requête, Monsieur le Président. The president, if I am not mistaken, Mr. Craig Atchison already responded to my question that he uh, could uh, help uh, with the exercise as proposed by the Defense Council. Do I understand you correctly? Répondant à la défense, est-ce que je vous ai bien compris, demande le président? Yes, Your Honor. Oui, Monsieur le Président. The President, we would like now to take an adjournment for lunch. The session 
is resumed at 1.30 p.m. The detention facility personnel, please take the accused to the detention facility and return him to the courtroom by 1.30. The parties to the proceedings, including Mr. Craig Atchison, are invited to come back to the courtroom at their time. Thanks.